today we're going to go geocaching. First thing you want to do to do geocaching is you want to download a geocaching app on your phone. So we have this on mommy's phone. It's a, uh, it's just geocaching app. And the cool thing about it, it shows you where all the geocaches are around you. And then you just click it and you navigate to one and you try to find it. So we're looking for one right now that's called the Devil's Spider, okay? And the only hint that they give us here is um, that it says, look high. So we're looking for something that's gonna be high. So it's saying that we are 200 feet away, going this way. So let's yeah. try it, let's go. All right, so a big role in geocaching is you wanna try to go places where there's not a lot of people. You don't want what they call muggles or just people that don't know about geocaching to find what you're looking for and they take it and they just get rid of it. Yeah. Go around this tree. I don't see anything high up here. Okay. Let's, I don't see anything. Let's, let's look at this next tree. Oh, these are really good spots right here for a geocache. So these are usually really good for geocache. You see these little holes in this wood here? That's a good spot for a geocache, but it's not in there. They said look high, so let's look high. Okay, here. so I think... Oh, I think we found it. Okay. I think we found it. If you can see it in the video, uh, it's very hot. It's pretty high in the air. Do you see it? It's right here. See it? There it is. We found it. Look at that. It looks like a woodpecker pecked through there. So this gives us the coordinates. the coordinates to our next adventure. We'll be right back once we put these into our phone and then we'll go try to find the treasure. Let's go. This next part of the geocache is 0.3 miles away and there it is on the geocache app. Uh, you can see it. And you can see the smiley face is right there, exactly where we just found it. So that's part one found. Let's head over to part two. Whenever we find the actual geocache, there's usually a box or kind of a bin or some sort of thing that um, usually has toys for the kids in there. And what you want to do is you want to bring a toy that you don't want and you can trade toys. So it's great for the kids. They can trade like McDonald's toys or any sorts of toys that um, they want to trade with someone. And you put it inside the bin and then you take one out. So you want to put something in there that's greater um, or equal to the value of the toy that you're taking out. So I got this toy with me. You might have saw it in another video. Yeah, so Francesca is going to go put in, when we find the treasure, she's going to put in one of her lost kitties she got at, I think, the mystery episode. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you go check it out. Okay, I'm going to put this one in. Yeah, so Luca decided to pick one of his Flush Force toys you might have seen that in an episode. If you haven't, go check out the Flush Force episode. All right, so now we got to a four-way intersection here. We can either go this way, we can go straight ahead, or we can go left. Which way should we go? The map looks like we should go straight ahead. Straight yeah, ahead it is. Let's go. So here's the app. We're getting very, very close to it. We're still 520 feet away. We're getting there. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm going to go this way. 
Oh, look at this. We found two baby deer just laying on the ground. Look how cute they are. All right, so what's cool about the geocaching app is whenever you get pretty close to the treasure, the cache, it'll vibrate your phone. So it's looking like we are about 149 feet away from it. We're very close to it. The clue says that it's on a slippery, when wet surface. So I'm thinking it's probably down in this area down here. And as you pan over there, you can see that log over there. I'm gonna have a feeling it's probably behind there. That would be a perfect spot for a geocache. Let's go. All right, so I think I spotted it. You see that little Tupperware container right there? That's where the treasure is. All right, let me see if I can dig it out for the kids here. We finally found it. As you can see, this one's pretty filled with a lot of toys for the kids. So how it works is there's usually a pad and a pen in here and you want to sign it saying that you found it. And on the app, you can actually add it as well on the app. But inside here is all kinds of toys. If the kids want to trade out, they can trade out. And if they don't, they can just say they found it. That's it. Seeing as you can see, there's a lot of people that found this already. So we're just one of many people that found this cash. So we'll sign this, write our names. All right, so that's it for the geocaching episode. We love geocaching as a family. It's fun to get out and find little treasures with the kids. And uh, if you guys get the geocaching app and love geocaching as much as we do, comment down below. Tell us some of the fun stuff you have found. Thank you for watching our episode today. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and give a big thumbs up. Bye! Bye.